Hello. This is about making the pocket welt. This is the welt. So this is a selvage of the fabric. So pull the welt piece into just about like that. And this will be sewn onto the lining, the, the selvage part. <clears throat> I use this technique so that it won't be too bulky. So that all I have to do is tap stitch it onto the lining, this part. So anyway, so this is a marking. I don't want to use chalk because it, it tends to be this tailor's chalk. It's effective in marking, but then you actually have to wash the fabric to remove it. It doesn't rem remove very easily. So what I'll do is to mark it is I just do the fold. And so that fold will match this line right here. So this one is also not showing. <clears throat> okay, This is not showing on the right side of the fabric for the same reason that I don't want to have to wash it to remove the marking. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna fold it to mark it so that what shows in on top of the, the right side of the fabric is just a crease. So I'm using my fingernails again to crease. So there you go. So after creasing, I can also use a pin to mark that line right down like that and also use this pin to mark the other side so there you are I have a mark now and I know that the where the pin enter the fabric is the mark for the extent of the the length of the pocket opening so i'm gonna turn the fabric over so now this has to be sewn together so i'm gonna pin it there so that i don't forget to include the lining onto the uh, the main fabric of the bodies. So I have the mark there. The wilt has to be sewn from the outside or the right side of the fabric. So I know, I know that this corner has to match for about like that. Now, wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. And this has to match to about, there's where the pin is. So, okay. So it's about like that. Making sure that the interfacing is, is, <coughs> is covering the extent of the hole the pocket hole so it, it's about right there Okay, I have to think because it's been a while since I made a pocket. So, okay, so that's the way it will lay. So you just making sure that it's uh, the crease or the mark area is where 
it ought to be. So just uh, pin that together. So that it's not going to move. Well, remove that. Not get in the way. While you're sewing it. So there you are. And so <clears throat> you're gonna sew following this mark. So you're gonna sew from there and to about one fourth on each side. Of the mark right there okay so the next episode is to show you how to actually sew it thank you for watching